Before we start this video, we want to send out our thoughts and prayers to Tyler and his family. We recorded this video on Wednesday, and on Saturday, there was a bad fire and destroyed everything. He is getting everything replaced. If you're in town, he's still available to take care of you. on uh, once it turns on then uh, you're just gonna grab the handles and then just take off uh, I use something called the 10% rule so if you jerk this throttle back and forth your whole body is gonna be you know flying back and forth so 10% is just either add 10% or subtract 10% and you know, if you want to go faster or slower obviously if you're going like full speed it can hit up to like 37 miles an hour so if you hit full speed and you let go you're just gonna face plant so so these are the battery cells I was telling you about um, so the battery cells inside of this are the same ones that NASA is using right now on the Mars rover. So I tell people that it's literally out of this world. They're pretty, pretty cool batteries. They're about 40%, 30, 40% longer than the last year's model. And it makes it last about over two hours with the foil, uh, close to an hour uh, for just a normal jet rider, jet board rider. favorite board to teach people on because there's no actual foot grips or foot placements that you have to put your feet in. It's basically a lot easier to stand up on, uh, but it will make it harder to, to do extreme turns and, and jumps and stuff. So uh, it's, it's definitely a, a, a stepping stone into, into understanding the sport. In order to stand up today, all we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this in. That turns on the board. Now it's ready to go. There, you don't have to like wait for anything. Um, it's always on, as long as, long as there's light there, so it, it's full, fully charged, so it should last about an hour, um, if I just go and don't come back, but <laughs> do that. Um, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold these handles, and once again, I said you could lay down and then get to your knees, or I said you could start standing up. So I'm gonna show you how to start standing up, and that all you do is you just put your back foot down first, and you don't push, I'm just gonna hover. So I'm just gonna hover that back foot, and I'm gonna give it at least like 50% throttle, enough to get me planed out. All right, so I'm gonna give it some gas, and all I'm gonna do is gonna throw my foot down, that's it. But he made that look easy. <laughs> oh yeah, he did. <laughs> you wanna stop, it's just like a jet ski, you just let go to stop. Again, <laughs> I don't see me doing it that easily. <laughs> that was a little bit smoother. Yeah. I just kind of like kept it constant speed because it's all about throttle control. Um, if you're jerking the throttle, once again, you're gonna be jerking your whole body back and forth. <laughs> I was kind of jerking in the beginning trying to jump, but that was a really smooth, smooth turn. So that's what you want to do, uh, is keep, keep it nice and smooth. But once again, you're probably not going to want to stand up right off the bat because you don't know the throttle. All right, so once again, to learn the throttle, you're going to learn it by laying down. Lay down, or you can get on your knees. And as soon as you stop, and you see. You know what I mean? So you have to always be given the throttle. If the nose starts to dive, like, down into the water, you, you want to just, like, you know, ease off of it, start again. Because you're not going to go anywhere if you're going down. <laughs> <laughs> you got that on there, so if you fall off, you still want to hold on to that. You don't want to have to take swim the board down. 
Well, the, the good news is, is that a lot of people get tired swimming boards down. And, and right here, it's all about chest deep, so you can walk to the board. Yeah. But if you hold it full speed and you jump off, it's going to sink in like 20 feet. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go get it. Yeah. Now give it a lot of throttle because you're in the sand. Yeah, he's just one of those people that picks up stuff usually pretty quick, so we'll see. <laughs> uh, you probably should have <laughs> gone the other way. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to have the throttle with you. I'm, I'm one of those people, wow, wow, wow. He's going pretty fast though, look at him. Yeah, I'm like the only I'm just gonna end up laying on my stomach. I see this coming. <laughs> It's just about putting a lot of weight on the front hands and then and at constant speed and, and not let off. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you gotta hit enough throttle if you're gonna put weight on those hands. Oh gosh! <laughs> 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 that was good. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> I couldn't get off my knees. <laughs> yeah. Put your right foot forward and your left foot back a little. Like right your, your, I mean, um, I can't show you because my hands hold the board. <laughs> put, your, put your right foot right here. Oh, I got you. Oh, there you go. There we go. Gotcha. Uh, and kind of like a little bit, like two inches this way. There you go. Okay. That's the best spot right there. Okay. Yep. And now you're good. Um, is that full? Is that full all right? And if you put your left foot back a little bit too. There you go. Yep. So now you're just gonna hit the throttle nice and easy. And just don't jerk the throttle. It's all about consistent speed. Right there. Nice and easy. Yep, keep, keep doing that a little bit more, a little more. A little more. I have not gotten my foot in that front one yet. I can, I get it behind it and I can ride and as I'm trying to get it in there, I just fall over. Yeah. I have the hardest time getting my foot up here to that front one. I'm trying to relax, man. I'm so tensed up. This is wearing me yeah. out. <laughs> man, it's a turn. Yeah. yeah that, that tube really helps. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, he did. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's stopped like a pro. coming in. You did, you did really good. Oh, I'm glad that worked out. I have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like it's... Oh! <laughs> See, that will help you get the feel for it and then you just progress, correct? Yep. Some, some people need the tube to know that, oh, this is easy, I can do this. Right. And then take the tube off and then they get it. Oh, he's just doing like a touch and go, huh? He, he's about to come in. Oh, okay. He parks right here. Oh! <laughs> he's about to park right here. Hey, can you go over and check that? I thought it was going to flying off the front of it. I just, <laughs> I just finally let go of it and chopped it off the front. <laughs> yeah. So you had it pulled the throttle when you was going. Oh okay. yeah, it was completely. I had it like it was, it was as far as it goes down, <laughs> and I couldn't, I, I couldn't quit. I'm like, but and I was you, doing it. But <laughs> once you push the front of the board down, it starts gaining speed. But when it's up like that, it just can't gain speed. Yeah. We just finished up jet surfing. We are gonna take a break. This morning we just had lessons, and then this afternoon we are going to do some more. This video is sponsored by Jet Surf, and we are doing a video, so that's the reason we are doing a morning session and an afternoon session for them. All right, we're fixing to go run and grab us some lunch, and then head out. So while I was editing this video, I realized I didn't talk very much to explain what we were doing. JetSurf had hired us to make a commercial for their website, and that's what we were doing. In the morning, they taught us how and let us learn and play. And then that afternoon, it was all business. It was all about the commercial. It's so crazy how shallow this water is. I'm like, I'm starting to be way off the shore and I'm, it's still not even to my waist. Look how far away I am and uh, still waist deep.
almost impossible to fall off of it. And not trying to brag, but I have a 99% success, 99 success rate getting people up with the training too. Also, if you can't swim, don't be scared. The water, you can see, we are standing in waist deep water as I'm falling. <laughs> We're standing in waist deep water. So if you fall, you won't drown because you can just stand up. So don't even be scared and think that you're gonna be in deep water because we did this earlier and it's shallow all the way out there. And he even got me up with the floaty and I was standing and I was surfing. I guess because I was in business mode, I so forgot to record an ending. We really enjoyed doing this jet surf. It was so much fun. It was a really hard workout. But these old people, we took care of the business. Please, if you enjoyed this video, like it. And also, if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. And the bell notification that'll let you know when we upload new videos. Well, we had a great time with Tyler jet surfing. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Till next time, like and subscribe.